We were scared and hungry the whole time, not knowing if we get captured or lose our way and never see land again. Hey travelers, we are in St. Augustine's this week and exploring Fort Mose Historic State Park. Fort Mose was recognized as a National Historical Landmark in 1994. Located off of Ponce de Leon Boulevard in St. Augustine's on 24 acres of land, We're at the Fort Mose Historical um, State Park here in St. Augustine's. Um, this place was established in 1738. It was given to free slaves by the um, governor of Florida <clears throat> from Spain. And um, this was supposed to be a safe place for all African Americans who were captured to come and be free on this settlement of land. Let's go check it out. This park is currently raising money to rebuild a replica of the fort. As of now, there is only a museum and the grounds to walk. So it's said that over 100 Africans made this their home. Um, they started a very interesting culture. They pulled from all other cultures, um, some Native American, some um, Spanish, and even some English cultures. They pulled their traditions into their own, and they made themselves um, a home on this piece of land right here. The grounds have different signs posted to learn more about the fort and its people. Like other Mose officers, Menendez was an escaped slave. After the Stonehill Rebellion of 1739, authorities in Charleston blamed the We were scared and hungry the whole time, not knowing if we could capture or lose our way and never see land again. But we made it. The first fort on this land had only lasted two years before it was attacked by General Oglethorpe from South Carolina in 1740. Well, this was rebuilt in 1752, which was just 12 years after it was destroyed by the English. Um, they had uh, put up a new line of defense, uh, which were prickly bushes inside the moat. So, funny enough, people can pronounce this any which way. Um, it can either be pronounced Mose, Musa, or Mose. There were so many people that lived here with different accents. You, know, you had your Native Americans, you had your Africans, you even had your Spaniards. I call it Fort Mose, but totally up to you what you want to call it. <laughs> So pretty much what the sign is saying here is that Fort Mose was a place of diversity and uh, truthfully of love because it didn't matter if you were Native American or an African or a Spaniard or whatever or even an English, this is where you came to be together and to be a family pretty much, so kind of neat. During the month of February and Black History Month, reenactors walk the ground and history comes alive. Thank you. 
The fort had been forgotten in this area until the team of archaeologists excavated it in 1986. Look for links below on more information on Fort Mose. We learned a lot today, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're at the end of our day. We did a nice little walk around the park. The, the property is very beautiful. Um, you could not see the fort, unfortunately, at least we couldn't. There supposedly is just a little piece of a wall left. Um, we checked out the museum. Yeah, it's not really there. We didn't really see it, so. <laughs> but we did check out the museum. The kids got to learn a few things about what happened and the history here. We learned a few things. Um, this is a pretty interesting place. Um, there is a picnic table here if you want to have lunch. There's a couple chairs to sit under the big trees. All in all, you could probably have a really good day here and probably take, what, about two hours? Yeah, I think it's about two hours total. But uh, we totally recommend to come. Oh, and it costs only $2 per person and it is a drop box in front of the office. They do have someone that works here and if you have any questions about any of the history, she will answer them for you. So um, we hope you enjoyed. Till next, next video. Thank you for watching our video on Fort Mose Historical State Park. Please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video. Join us next time for more videos from St. Augustine. Bye.